Sex advice in media is primarily targeted toward and written by young people, especially women. Why is this basic human act limited to such a select group? <clears throat> Arlene Heyman is a psychiatrist who wrote a book that focuses on sex among older people. She spent years investigating how aging is weirdly equated with asexuality. In so many areas of life, we turn to elders immediately, and yet for sexual advice, that's not really on the table for a lot of people. There's a barrier between generations. You want to be involved sexually with people your own age, mm -hmm. and you're pushing off everybody. So people 15 years older, 20 years older are toxic, so you go with your cohort. There's clearly wisdom to be had from people who have had entire lifetimes of uh, lives that included sex, and yet this is an untapped gold mine. I set out to tap this gold mine. A lot of the relationship advice that is in the media is in sort of the glossy magazines that are coming from people like me who don't have that much wisdom, so we're hoping to look to people who are a little bit further in life to reflect on what makes a relationship work. I really care about the person. I'm humanistic now where I wasn't before. So no games? No, no games, just, just being myself. And they're then themselves and they tell me, oh, they haven't had a discussion like this in so long. We've discussed for two hours, three hours. This is, I wasn't like that when I was younger. I'm, I'm just an outgoing, which I always wasn't. But once it started, it was fun and it was easy. And so I continued. So be more outgoing. Yes, and you more, have to more sure of myself. Yeah. At the end of the day, the thing is communication. Keep that going. And as for the boudoir, well, mm, you got to keep that going too. Being inventive and open Being to new things. Being inventive. Oh yeah, get that pole. Dress up like a puppy, who cares? Clearly, there's a lot to be learned. Not only in sustaining a relationship, but also starting a new one. Herta Weiss is 92 and just embarked on a new relationship after a 70-year marriage. You currently are seeing someone. Yes. And how did that come about? I was walking on the plaza and a man came up to me and he said, is your name Herda? I said, yes, why? He said, well, I heard about you. Herda heard about Herda. So. <laughs> you probably get that a lot. <laughs> no, I do it myself. I'm such a nut. Before that, you were, you were married for? About 70, 80 years. Can I ask about physical intimacy? Sure. The role in a relationship as it progresses through the years? Yes. I had a wonderful relationship with my husband because uh, he was a lover. And uh, I mean, I enjoyed it very much. With David, it's a little different. He's a little older, and he still wants to do the same things that a young guy does, but it's not that easy anymore. And I say to him, not today, next week. <laughs> but if a man is nice and talks to you in a nice way, then you enjoy being with that person and vice versa, you know, if it goes both ways. I would not give it up for anything. There's this idealized image of sex among the young, and then the young suffer terribly because they don't reach that idealized image at all. They worry how they're doing. It's all kinds of worries at all ages. You have one real advantage if you're aging with someone whom you care about, which is you're kind to each other, you know each other, mm -hmm. you know what will work, what will help, and you're less frightened to say, please do this, stop rubbing there, rub over here. That hurts. Slow down, yeah, and if you keep rubbing me like this, my skin will come off. You are less afraid of being rejected for asking for what you want. And I think women in particular have a hard time asking for what they want. So the advice industry is exclusive and misleading, but there are experts all around us. And when you ask them about sex advice, they tend to tell you less about how to ace an oral sex exam and more about how to be a good person. Well, do you have any ad advice to my generation about approaching relationships? Yes, yes. 
What I think is very important is to make the woman what we used to call hot. Get into their life, make them feel great, to come, come away with something. This communication is the key all the time. To everything. To everything. Even the intimacy. Even, even intimacy. Do you have advice for your 33-year-old self about sex? Be kind. Be kind to whomever you're sleeping with. I would say to somebody like you, for instance, the girl, you know, you're so good looking, you're so sweet, and I really would love to have you in my arms right now. What do you say? Let's go and do something. And she'll say, no, I can't, I'm busy. Tomorrow I have to be, I'll get up at five in the morning, I can't. I said, well, it doesn't have to be now, but how about another time? This is what I would like, because I love you and you're beautiful. And if she says yes, and, if she, and, and then of course you can make a plan, but if she says, you know, I'm not for, for that. I'd like you, but I really, I'm not into that. Then you say, well, I'm sorry, but I need more than that. You let it go. Let it you go. Don't, don't let it go. It. Don't push it too much. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm.